is up karatex so for years you guys have been asking me to do a vlog style channel my everyday life you know what i do other than my video game content on my main channel so i decided you know what let's do an actual you know vlog style channel we're gonna try it out see how it goes um but we got the viper here so today we're driving this car about an hour away so a little bit of a drive um to get the car tuned so it does have some bolt-on mods which i'll show here here um, I mean, these cars, they're naturally aspirated. Um, got plug wires, um, iridium spark plugs. We got heat shields, smooth tubes. We got pulleys, which is kind of hard to see right now, but we got pulleys in there. Got an oil catch can over there. Um, yeah, so some bolt-ons here and there. So, and of course it has headers and exhaust that the previous owner installed, which sounds insane, which we're gonna do a cold start here shortly. It's currently about 6 a.m. So my neighbors are probably gonna hate me, but <laughs> let's go ahead and close this up here go got the z06 here as well probably do another video on that another day um but yeah let's go ahead and uh, start this up pretty early so it's like an hour drive give myself like an extra hour to get there roughly so left about two hours earlier manuals are fun but when you're in traffic not so much <laughs> but uh, when we get on the highway it will, it will be a lot better all right let's go it's into the shopping center buddy Julio he lives in a neighborhood that has a bunch of speed bumps and stuff so he's like you know what just meet me at a, uh, one of the local breakfast places so that's what we're doing backup camera ah he's in the incognito mobile What's up, bro? Like, What's up, Julio? How you doing, bro? This is how I fucking roll for you. you I can see your no way. I can see your rocks are fucking dirty. So whatever. <laughs> you don't even fucking deserve that. Shit. <laughs> I go like this. I go like that. See, this man takes care of his cars, I man. I put my shoes here, so I don't fucking fuck with your shit. <laughs> this guy's the man. This guy's the man. I see, bro. When we get back, we're gonna, we're definitely gonna look at his Cabo Viper. If we get a cold start, huh? Huh? When we get back, we're gonna look get a cold start from your Cabo Viper. You got it, bro. All right, guys, there we go. About an hour and a half drive. Gonna be interesting. All right, let's set the phone down here on the phone mount. Let's get it. Nothing like this car, bro. No, be on this. Nothing like this car. It's a motorcycle. Getting on the highway here, and we have traffic hell. <laughs> Welcome to Florida. Welcome to Florida. Oh boy. It says we're gonna get there at 8:41 because of the traffic. Wow. Was this the best route? I guess it was. Yeah, no, it's the best route. Waze is telling us here. I was hoping for a little pool on the highway, but I guess those will be on the way back. <laughs> in six gear, 70 miles an hour, about no, 1900 RPM. I can you. The good thing about this setup that we're doing right now is you don't have a camera or anything like that, it's going to drive exactly like this. You're not right. going to notice it until you go. 
roll with the hammer down. Yeah, so that's what I want. I don't want to set up this too crazy. This, guy, this guy's giving me a yeah, thumbs up. <laughs> Alright guys, so you made it to Palm Beach Dino. They're taking it right now uh, to the uh, Dino. They're gonna get it all prepped up and ready, strapped down, and all that good stuff. So he's gonna take it over now. Again, these guys mainly specialize in Mustangs, but they made the exception uh, for me and my buddy Julio to uh, go ahead and do the Vipers, which they haven't done in a while. So here they are right here, Palm Beach Motorsports. Yeah. Loading it up now. Yeah. All right, got it all strapped down. Ready to go. Fans going. Again, it's a simple full bolt on 93 pump gas naturally aspirated, so it's not gonna make a crazy amount of power. Alright, getting going here, about to do a baseline. Got the man Ken in there. What's up? People bring him cars from all over the US. They're mainly specialized in Mustangs, but he's making the exception for us here on the Viper, so appreciate the hookup, Ken. Alright, here we go. We're gonna go for baseline. So this is gonna be how it goes right now for the two. Uh, Julio and I are guessing, what do you guess? 540. 540? He's got a tune already, it's not a spot tune. It's yeah, but it's a, a street tune. tune. Yeah, but it's a shady tune. <laughs> Guessing 600, 610. 610. 610. Again, this is a pump 93 naturally aspirated car, guys. This is not an E85 monster. Again, it's a naturally aspirated pump 93 car. I mean, that's that's pretty impressive when you consider that. It's not no thousand horsepower Mustang or anything like that, or thousand horsepower Hellcat. Again, it's an NA car, so not bad numbers at all. But it's, it's gonna get better. We'll see. We'll see. Similar tune that's on most of the vibes I've done, at least the time you go. Right. Makes right. adjustments. 
pretty loud in here, but this is going to be the third pass. So Ken did some fine tuning here and there. Uh, red line brought up to 7 grand, so he's bringing it up to like 6,800 RPM. Let's see what it does.
okay, we let it cool out a bit. So we're gonna see what it does now. This one should probably be the same amount of power. Maybe a little more, we'll see. aggressive is when you want all the crazy stuff. Yeah, exactly. Now, like I said, if it's, even if you're at higher RPM, yeah, if you throw it in neutral, it's obviously not going to do it. So if it gets annoying, you can just do that. That's, that's perfect. So next day here now unfortunately immediately after that clip I obviously went to go pay and then when I was done paying when I went outside it started pouring rain I know kind of sucks we had a ton of traffic on the way there 
and the road was also damp because it rained the night before so i wasn't able to drive it hard at all on the way there obviously i want to drive it hard on the way back uh but just on and off rain the entire way back damp road just recipe for disaster i didn't even try that's probably the first time i've used the windshield wipers on this car because <laughs> that's the first time i've driven it in the rain um, obviously i have you know the michelin 4s tires so it, it was perfect i don't have some crazy racing tires on it and that brings me to my next point so um i know some people are probably gonna look at the numbers and be like wow that's kind of slow but i mean max power we did wheel was 587 obviously if you factor in the drivetrain loss that means this car is making at the crank roughly about 700 horsepower in a naturally aspirated there's no supercharger in this car no turbo no nothing a naturally aspirated car making about 700 crank horsepower on pump 93 fuel i think that's pretty amazing um and it drives exactly the same everything is retained i have full ac full interior um and then of course the most important thing i wanted from that tune was the burble tune um, which Ken was able to do. Now, Ken spent five hours tuning this car to get it right. He spent about, I want to say about two hours roughly on the tune itself. And then the burble tune took him like three hours. He wanted it to be perfect. That's so you can see how meticulous and good this guy is that he spent all that extra time when he didn't have to, to try to get something right that he hasn't really experimented with too much on this particular car. Almost everybody on the forum says you weren't able to do the verbal tune with HP tuners on this car, but he was able to do it. So I definitely brought the car to the right person, that's for sure. And I'm very, very happy with the results. Um, now, in terms of pulls and stuff, obviously, I want to get some pulls on video and, you know, the burbles and all that. Um, but unfortunately, here in Florida, it's been raining like on and off every day. So, I, you know, all day today. So I haven't, I haven't been able to um, get, um, you know, any take it out, to, you know, to drive it and enjoy it with a new tune. Uh, it is what it is. But uh, I will be making a separate video on that. This video is kind of long anyways, as it is. Um, so I'm gonna make a separate video, full send pulls in this thing, uh, 7K RPM red line. Um, I'll probably put a camera here on the side as well uh, to try to capture the sound from the exhaust with the burbles and all that. Hopefully the wind noise doesn't mess with it too much, but we'll, we'll figure it out. Um, now, in general, something I want to talk about, I know obviously some of the angles in this video weren't the best. I apologize for that. The one on my head was sitting too high. This car obviously has a, a the windshield slopes down very far. So there wasn't much I can do about that, but I'm definitely going to mount it lower, probably on my chest or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Um, and also the camera on the dash sat a bit too low. Again, I think for my first vlog video, it wasn't too bad. I filmed that all with one GoPro. <laughs> I ordered two more GoPros. Um, you know, I'm fully investing in the channel um, so we can, you know, make better content. Um, obviously, I'm going to make videos as well on the Z06, um, the Hellcat, the TRX. The Hellcat, well, I don't want to mention that yet. I mean, it, it might be getting sold soon. Obviously, I have the Demon 170 coming. Um, but... I do have a lot of other friends who have very nice cars as well, so I'm going to talk to them to see if they'll allow me to review their cars too. Um, so, I mean, it's going to be fun. I'm really excited. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments of the video and what else you want to see. Some suggestions will be awesome. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.